Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy here at the Game Vault. And we're at Paradise Falls, my, uh, one of my favorite little bases here. You might remember this base from when I built a little hot tub set up over here. A little video on that. And then, of course, we got our little garage over here where we have our roamer parked. I don't know why we have a roamer on this planet. Literally, this... I live on an island. Yeah, pretty wild, huh? Oh, did we catch a glimpse of something on, down there? There's something underwater, but we're going to get to that in another video. So anyways, what we're going to talk about today, and I hope you all are hungry, is this right here. I made a stove. And as you can see, we got some goodies cooking up, you know. Nutrient processor is great. Make lots of stuff in there. But man, there's nothing like a good old stove cooked meal. Got some hamburger helper going over here. And a little bit of uh, tomato soup there. Yep. So let's take a look on how that's done. All right. We went outside for this. And we're going to need a nice flat surface to work on because this is going to require a little little finagling to get it to work right. Now the first thing we do to make this is we get the burners going. And what I used for the burners is these flaming barrels. Now, I believe these are, you either get them through uh, salvage data units or maybe Quicksilver, I don't remember exactly, but they're fairly readily available. And we just slap a couple of these down, like so. And they're not really close to it. They're not really lined up properly. So let's pick them up. We're going to work on them actually from this angle to make it a little. And from above. Okay. So there's a one. And there's another. So now we got some burning garbage, right? Not very appealing. So what I used for the actual stove itself, and we're going to try something else here too, uh, just to see if it works. But I had a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Maybe it's in here. Um, oh, there it is, the worktop, right? And we could change the color of it, give it a little rusty look, make it black and gray if we want. And as you can see, it'll line up very nicely here, right? Damn you, bad weather. We'll be right back. All right, nasty weather stops. So let's try this again. So we go ahead and we grab this uh, work sh workbench. Come on, I know you're here. Or worktop. There we go. And we'll go into build mode here. Get it lined up properly. To where it looks nice. And I think we can make it maybe a little bit bigger that sets the rings into the surface a little bit more I mean you could drop it down if you wanted and maybe make it look more like a a wok cooker or something like that with the raised rings but I kind of like it like this you go just enough and this one's not you know lined up as precisely as that one that one took me a long long time but we're not gonna go through all that you know just spend your time tweak it however you want you could make uh, the rings farther apart like I did up there, put something in the middle, whatever you want to do, man. It's your, uh, it's your oven, right? Or your stove. So for the front part, I took these shelves, these shelf panels, and I shrunk them down. So 
that kind of gives you the illusion of an oven inside that was not lined up all that well, but it works. And then right in front of it for the controls, I use this puppy. And I shrunk it way down. Way, way down. And just kind of tucked it in as close as I could get it. I just take them. You get that weird little thing up top there, but that's, you know, that is what it is. There's other things we could put there, I reckon. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, we could, in theory, uh, let's see, no, we could, in theory, use a wall screen, it would stick out a little bit, maybe a tech panel, let's try the tech panel, see if that works better, I like the way it looks on mine, but out here in the sunlight, it doesn't look so good, so yeah, we could take this, Shrink it down. Maybe turn it. Make it look like the controls, right? Get it tucked in there. And for the back, if you wanted to put a back piece on it, you know. We can do something with uh, one of these back panels. And as always, feel free to adjust colors and all that sort of stuff to make it your own. This is going to be tricky, I can tell. There we go. Like I said, you can adjust the color of it, give it a more stovey look. Let's see how that looks. I don't know if I got it lined up. Yeah, I didn't get it lined up that right, but I'll have to do a little more precision. But you'll end up with a little back piece on it if you wanted. And um, what I did for mine is I actually put a hood over mine using one of those. I'll take a look inside real quick because it's integrated with the roof. But you see it up there, I got a couple fans got the uh, suppression, the fire suppression, and I put a light in there. So just to give you an idea for when you do set it into your home, some different things you can do, right? So yeah, that doesn't look great, but let's, let's try and move that. Uh, the problem is we need to get the angle. That angle looks a little better. Yeah, that looks a little more lined up. Could make it a touch bigger, make it go all the way to the end, but you know, you've got your little uh, back piece to it there. And then what I did is just threw a couple pots and pans on it to make it look like stuff's cooking. So you got like this vintage cooking pan, which is solid and fits nicely on there. That's where you do your paella. Right? You've got a, uh, got a vintage dish there. We didn't use that. We used like a little pot. Well, there's a couple different things you can get going on in there. I think we used a fire kiln pot, right? That's where you get your soup going. In this little vintage tap I added onto mine because I like the idea of having you know, a little running water. We'll tuck it in a little bit there. Just in case I need to add a splash of water to something, you know. Got the hot water. You'll see that in commercial kitchens, especially walk ranges and stuff like that. So there you have a basic little uh, little stove setup. 
and you know you can go ahead and cook things not using your nutrient processor poor nutrient processor just got upgraded out yeah and here we go yeah so I ended up throwing mine next to it just because it's kind of fun to have it right there but another cooking item I was looking for stuff to use as further decoration to it and I really couldn't find anything that I liked um, as far as like trying to make a, a cooking spoon you know a stirring spoon a fork something but none of it really worked the way I wanted it to so I just abandoned that idea Give it a little lighting here. But there you have it. A nice little cooking stove. So I was thinking of a variation. Let's check it out and see if it'll work. Um, I'm going to take some of this stuff off. Yeah, we're taking it down. All right. We're not going to rebuild the entire thing, but I just wanted to try a variation to see if we could do maybe a grill and how that would look. So we're going to go right back to the worktop. Oh, we forgot something. Get rid of those. Okay. Back to the worktop. Let's give it a nice little uh, gray and black, make it rusty looking. This would be something good for outside, right? And we shrink it down a little bit. So now we got the burners raised up a lot more, right? Certainly look gray and black, but whatever. I thought maybe what we used for the doors, we could use to make it look like a grill. So first things first, we got to shrink this thing down, 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 down until it looks like ah all right well we got the size right problem is This will take a little effort. All right, that's working so far. But now it doesn't want to Oh, it doesn't want to raise up, huh? Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. I'm thinking maybe we can do it, but maybe we need to go back and use the larger worktop again just because. So let's try that. Because it looked like it was snapping at one point or trying to stick to the worktop and then it was trying to stick to the rings. All right. That's pretty pretty good there. I mean, we're not going for precision right now. We're just seeing if it can be done. We'll get this puppy shrunk down again. There we go, laid on top. go will it continue to work will it line up yeah it looks like this can be done so 
So yeah, it looks like that can be done. It doesn't look as bad, although I may raise, I, I'll probably make the worktop just a hair larger so the rings can't even be seen. And then when these are laid on top, they won't be bouncing off the rings from the barrels and all that. They'll just stick right to the top of the worktop there. But in any case, that's how you build a stove and possibly a grill. I'm going to work on this grill a little bit. It might take a couple hours, so I'm not going to bore you with all that. But if it does work out nice, we'll show it here at the end of the video. If this is the end of the video, then it didn't work out at all. And it's a nope. So thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you like this video, please leave a comment on it down below and a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to share us on social media. It's greatly appreciated. I'll get to work on this, and like I said, if the video ends now, it didn't work. If it continues, enjoy the show.